This is the In Motion Climber. I am super excited by this because it's got twin motors, which means for the big guys going up those hills, getting a little bit of extra speed, should be a pretty awesome scooter. So I'm really excited by that. The twin motors are 450 watts each. And I gotta say, I think it looks kind of nice. I have reviewed the InMotion S1 before. I really like that one, especially for big guys because it had a nice battery size. It was comfortable. Let's see what the InMotion Climber is like. And of course, we're gonna have to do the Hill of Death. So it is the InMotion Climber. Let's see if it will climb the Hill of Death. I'm not sure, but twin 450 watt motors, it's got a chance, right? Let's go find out. The Hill of Death. It made it. Well, that was pretty awesome. It made it up the hill of death, which I wasn't convinced that it would make it up there. So that gives, you know, thumbs up for the, for the big guys out there. Speaking of big guys, it's got a weight capacity of 140 kilos, which is about 304 pounds, which is way more than what I weigh. I weigh about 265 pounds and it has been getting me around the city, no problems whatsoever. Let me just show you how to fold it up. Little button at the front that releases it. And there's a little catch at the top here. You just lower down and it's in, which allows me now to pick it up and walk around. And it weighs 24 kilos approximately, which is what, about 50 pounds? So, you know, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to carry around. You can carry it with one hand up at some flight of stairs and uh, it's not gonna break your back. So let's continue on and I'll share with you what else I like about the In Motion Climber and what I don't like about the In Motion Climber and whether or not I think it's gonna be a really good fit for you. There are three modes. One is a pedestrian mode, two is regular mode. And that's really good for me because it's just, it's fast enough, it gets me around town. But three, that gives you the extra beans, full power, and it just lets you shoot past you here. And it has a single brake, which is electronic as well as mechanical. Brings me down to a stop fairly quickly. It's not gonna win any awards for braking, but for the speeds that you're typically going, it's perfectly fine. The scooter has three modes, as I mentioned before. It's got this pedestrian mode, which just makes it so much easier when you're walking around town with it. Plus, of course, it has the other two modes. The drive mode, which basically gets you up to a nice speed of about 20 miles an hour at the most. But then it's got the speed mode and that speed or sport mode probably, that's really quite quick. So if you need the extra beans, sport mode is what you want. So one of the things I love about the InMotion is the fact that it's got the dual motors, obviously. It gets me around. I'm flying around right now at the International Marina, so a special thank you to the International Marina for letting me out onto the dock this afternoon. But I'm flying around on here. What I am noticing though, one of the things I don't like is the fact that it doesn't have suspension. So on the bigger bumps, when I'm, jump, when I'm going over these little bumps, I'm feeling it through. It does have air-filled pneumatic tires. They are 10-inch tires, and it does take out a lot of the bumps, but it w I, think it would, I think it would be better with a little suspension at the very front, kind of like the InMotion S1 has. But other than that, it's so smooth. And as I'm riding around the International Marina right now, I'm finding this really smooth. So, anywho, next up, we're gonna go from here. We'll go around all the way around the rest of the Inner Harbor, and uh, yeah, I'll share with you what else I like and what I don't like about the InMotion Climber. One of the things I have noticed while riding around these beautiful, beautiful yachts is I'm seeing a lot of e-bikes and a couple of electric scooters. And so I just think that's so smart. I mean, if you've got a boat and you need to tour around the town, an e-bike or an electric scooter is totally the way to do it. And the scooter, of course, uses up less space. So if you've got a smaller yacht, maybe a little electric scooter like this might be just your ticket. <laughs> So what do I like and what don't I like about the InMotion Climber? Well, let me start off with what I do like. I really like scooters that have cruise control and the cruise control on this is so smooth. 
the app. When I pull the phone out and just connect it, it's so quick. Marriages everything I want to know, like how far have I been, how far can I go, what's the battery life, what are the cells looking like. There's a whole bunch of information on that app, which is fantastic. What don't I like? Uh, I think the brake's a little bit weak. Yeah, I think they're a little bit weak, and I might just have to fine tune that myself, add a little bit more on the mechanical brake. I do like that there's the electronic brake and the mechanical brake. That certainly adds to it. I might have been a little bit harsh earlier when I said it doesn't have suspension, therefore when you hit the bumps it's really hard. That was a little bit unusual because we were right there with all the yachts and the gaps were really quite large. But as I recognized as I was riding around, I didn't really notice it. In fact, it was, it was perfectly comfortable. It does feel quite robust and the fact that it got me up the hill of death I think that's a big win for this for the big guy. So, so I'm actually really quite happy with it. The in motion climber, total win. Big guy approved.